Okay, um, good morning. This morning we'll review the alpha rectifier once more, and then we'll move on to the full wave rectifier. Oh, if, for those of you who are interested, where I'm getting my source from, I'm getting the source from uh, Electric Circuit uh, Discrete and Integrated by Donald L. Schilling and Charles Bellow. Now the edition, my edition is a little bit uh, old, <laughs> but as they say in the fables, new broom, sweet cream, and old broom knows the corner. Okay, uh, this edition is a little bit, uh, I think, what edition is this? This is the third edition, so uh, Donald Schilling is uh, uh, from Professor Hermitius. Uh, from Professor of Electrical Engineering during my time. I know he's a Professor of Meteos, uh, or Mete, uh, there's a couple of them. Uh, I think uh, Professor um, Kranz just retired too, he was also one. You know, let's move on. We are uh, reviewing the author's rectifier. And we say we were agreed to the author's rectifier. Was that, uh, this is uh, the author's rectifier. The diode, the low, the low resistance RL, the low voltage VL, VB, and RI, and VI. I would say VI was equal to VBI and cosine omega zero. Right? And we have a certain value for this. Let's see if we could remember. Uh, as R L equals 9 ohms, this equals 1 ohms, and this equals 10 volts. And what again we need got the Fourier series expansion of this, the Fourier series expansion. After the fire, our clipping circuit, and we said that now uh, V uh, was equal to V. Uh, this is the alpha rectifier, the one over pi plus one half cosine omega zero t plus two thirds or while minus two thirds cosine two omega zero t minus 15 cosine 4 omega 0 t. Uh, this is the plus rather than minus. So this was the four is the expansion of the flipping circuit or R4 rectifier. And we went on to find uh, the DC value. V and DC was equal to 1 over 2 pi, the integral of V pi n cosine omega 0 t d omega 0 t. And that was equal now to 9 over pi is equal to 9 over pi equal to 0 0.286 volts. That's what as far as it went. So that is the review of the clipping circuit of our rectifier. Let's move on now to the full wave rectifier. And for the full wave rectifier, let us draw our circuit here. Uh, and the full wave rectifier is uh, more efficient in producing the DC voltage than the RF rectifier. And this will produce uh, the Fourier series values at twice the frequency of the alpha rectifier. Okay, so uh, here we have the primary winding and the secondary winding. This is primary. We have the diode here again. Diode 1 and diode 2. D1. Drums. And 
This is a digital input source voltage we are. And we know that uh, when, when uh, VL is positive, plus V, D1 is short circuit. That means VD equals zero. And D2 is open circuit. That means corresponding ID to zero open circuit. Right. Now when VL when VL is negative minus VE D1 is open circuit. And D2 is short circuit. But in, in each case, the law. Thank you. 
trust fund and fund zero, zero when it's open to And in each case, uh, I load is positive in the, in the same direction. Okay, uh, and since I load on the, the diagonal D1 and then D2 with short circuit on each alternate cycle, right? On no, no, each alternate cycle, it's short circuit. The load voltage can be written as V load is equal to absolute value of the source voltage. And the current and the voltage waveform are shown. Alright, so we're going to draw the, the, the diagram of the current and wave voltage. Uh, the diagram of the current and the, and the voltage uh, waveform. Now the following series expansion of this full wave rectifier looks like this. VL, V load is not equal to V. Twice the DC value of that obtained on the half wave rectifier. Though, as before, if VL is passed through the RC filter, as we did with the half wave rectifier, with omega zero, RC equals 100 or RC equals 100 over the fundamental frequency. Let's do that. Let's leave the waveform of the rotation. This. Now, if we pass the VL, it's passed through now the RC filter with RC equal 100 over the omega 0. Same thing, same. Uh, omega 0 RC equals 100. The output group of voltage now. Output ripple voltage 
is v retro root mean square equal now to four over three pi v uh, n into one over two hundred sine two negative two minus one over two thousand sine four negative two. Let's be cross sigma terms. And now the V ripple RMS equals to V over 210 power to the V ripple over VL DC the ratio is equal to 1 over 420 equal to 0 0.0024. So that's the comparison now of the calculation of the halfway rectifier and the full wave rectifier. And we know that uh, the, full wave, the full wave rectifier is more efficient in producing the DC and that uh, the lowest ripple voltage is obtained on for the full wave rectifier at the, fundamental, at the frequency 2 omega 0 in comparison to at the frequency of omega 0 on the half uh, wave rectifier, and that the DC term, which is the first term in the series, the Fourier series, is up to, uh, right for the full wave rectifier is two over pi, and for the half wave rectifier is one over pi, uh, which is that now the half wave rectifier is half the value of the full wave full wave rectifier, or that the full wave rectifier is twice the value of the half wave rectifier. So there we have it. Uh, comparison of the full wave rectifier and the half wave rectifier, and that the full wave, full wave rectifier is more efficient. Uh, and it is used uh, for, for, for power supplies, for DC power supplies. Uh, that is, the full wave rectifier is used for DC power supplies. So, next we want to look at. Uh, We leave that for the next step. Regulations, no load voltage, full load voltage, or full load voltage. And we go on to look at peak detectors and uh, envelope detectors and uh, diode logic gates. But for now, let's uh, call this another session. And as usual, my name is Don Gilpin. I'm your instructor. What's your instructor? This session, this session is on. Two close.